They fired this morning. What are we supposed to do? What about our medical coverage? What about our health? What about our car payments? Our payments on this house? The work I was supposed to do might, might have had some positive effect. I don't know. It could have been beneficial. Mostly, I got paid a lot. I took the money. Now, the work we did here is confidential, not for public scrutiny, any more than our one's family matters. You're threatening my family now, too? <laughs> now, don't be paranoid, Jeff. Now, I know you understood the nature of the confidentiality portion of your severance agreement with Brown and Williamson, Jeff. Chapter and verse. Yeah, I know you do. You know, I came up through sales. One of the reasons I was a great salesman was I never made a promise I couldn't keep. I knew that if I ever broke my promise, I'd suffer the consequence. This is why again. Something quick, come on. How do you do? I'm Lowell Bergman. You spoke on the phone. Big tobacco is a big story. And you got something important to say, I can tell. If you got vital insider stuff, the American people for their welfare really do need to know, and you feel impelled to disclose it and violate your agreement in doing so, that's one thing. On the other hand, if you want to honor this agreement, then uh, that's simple. You do so. You say nothing, you do nothing. You pay me to go get guys like Wygan, to draw him out, to get him to trust us, to get him to go on television. I do. I deliver him. He sits, he talks, he violates his own confidentiality agreement. And he's only the key witness in the biggest public health reform issue, maybe the biggest, most expensive corporate malfeasance case in U.S. history. And Jeffrey Wygan, who's out on the limb, does he go on television and tell the truth? Yes. Is it newsworthy? Yes. Are we going to air it? Of course not. Why? Because he's not telling the truth. No, because he is telling the truth. That's why we're not going to air it. And the more truth he tells, the worse it gets. 